Hi, and thank you for inviting me to speak with you at the 46th annual ACTFL convention. I'm told this is the largest gathering of language professionals in the United States with more than 6,000 language teachers of all levels of instruction. It's a real honor to receive the Kudeki Award for support for language education. Uh, and it's exciting to speak to you uh, from my state of Delaware, where our state's first Chinese immersion program is underway at the McIlvain Early Childhood Center in Magnolia. I recently spent the afternoon with 100 kindergarten students who already know hundreds of words and phrases in Chinese. I regret that I'm not able to accept this award in person, uh, but I'm currently meeting with governors across the country through my role as chair of the National Governors Association. And one of the first things I always talk about with other governors is, in fact, Delaware's World Language Expansion Initiative and why I think it's so important. You know, we know that businesses have more choices than ever when it comes to where to locate jobs. Gallup's World Poll tells us that there are 3 billion people in the world who want a good job, but there are only 1.2 billion jobs available. So there's a shortfall of 1.8 billion jobs. The question is, who gets those new jobs as they emerge? Fact is, we're in a global war for jobs, which really means we're in a global war for talent. Because we know that jobs are going to go where the talent is. And for that reason, I think one of the most important investments that we can make is in our public education system and how we prepare our children to succeed in a very competitive world. And just a few weeks ago, my wife and I hosted an exchange student from Spain for three weeks. Mario is 15 years old. He speaks Spanish, English, French, and German. And we know that when our students grow up, they'll be competing for jobs with people like Mario. And we know that when employers choose where to locate jobs, to look at where employees have the skills to communicate across markets. That'll mean fluency in not just one language, but two or three. And our new World Language Expansion Initiative will add 20 immersion programs to Delaware elementary schools by 2015, with the goal of reaching more than 10,000 students over the next 10 years. Beginning in kindergarten, students spend half of each school day learning in Mandarin Chinese or Spanish. By fourth grade, these students will be proficient enough to travel with their families, if they could, to China or to a Spanish-speaking country. And by ninth grade, they'll be able to take and pass the advanced placement language class, after which they can continue their language study in a Delaware college or university, or begin study of a second world language. Our first three programs started this fall with more than 300 students, and we're looking forward to adding another six programs next fall. Now, as you all know, the benefits to these students will go beyond their mastery of a second language and the advantage they will have in an increasingly global job market. Research has shown that language study improves academic performance and enhances cognitive abilities. Learning another language also strengthens the students' cultural awareness and improves their ability to build relationships with citizens across the globe. The caliber of professionals leading this work is outstanding. Some are seasoned Delaware educators and others have come from across the country and around the globe to take part in this exciting opportunity. All, like you, have stepped up to the challenge to better prepare our students for success. And to anyone in the audience interested in joining this exciting effort, I welcome you to contact me at jack.markell, two L's, at state.de.us. Ultimately, we know that to prepare our kids for the jobs of the future, we can't keep doing things the way they've always been done. So to the thousands of educators and program staff here today, I say muchas gracias por su ayuda and she she. Thank you for the work that you have done and will continue to do in service to our children.